I don't give a fuck. I got a baby with you, bitch. If you a problem, fuck you and that baby. Hmm. I'll make another one. And then now this sounds harsh, and maybe on some level it is. But I understand what he coming from. I wouldn't say F the babe. But once a woman has a kid with you, she has control over you if you let her have control over you. And the only way to not let her have control over you is to say, look, I'll just leave you alone and leave the kid alone. I wouldn't do that, but I understand the sentiment. Because if you're not willing to do that, she knows she got you. And she can manipulate you and control you however she wants to what extent she wants. Unless she know you one of them dudes who'll just, oh, I just, I move to another country on you. And then try to contact the kid when he get older. You're not about to ruin my life just because we got a kid together. Sorry. I feel him. If you, if you down with me. Other babies out And there, you buddy. show me respect. And I feel like you ain't no cutthroat. I will die for you if you got mine. But if you running around here talking crazy to me, bitch, fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, now you put them all on <laughs> All y'all, the baby you had before that one, oh. your mama, y'all nothing to me. And if the baby survived that shit and the motherfucker seem like he ain't cut like you, then maybe I can fuck with him later on. But I ain't finna be going through no drama just because you got a baby with you. <laughs> With older women, there's emotional triggers you can use. And one of the biggest emotional triggers, every single guy who's out here is about the game knows you use kids. A woman's 35 and she ain't got kids yet, she's really panicking. So you start to say things like kids, family. You can mention that. If I were to ever, which I would, date a woman over 30, that's all I'd do. I'd be sitting there going, yeah, but living a busy life. Yeah, making all this money, traveling around. Don't want to waste any more time. The next woman I'm with is going to be the woman I have children with. Blah, blah, blah. Drop it in subtle. If I get him to like me, he'll give me kids. The millionaire will give me kids, and I get to drive a Bentley. No, I don't believe in this, man. See, I don't got to lie or manipulate or try to bait a woman in with false hope and, you know, dreams, fake dreams. Nah, man. See, this is why character is important. Character is the most important thing in this life. Uh, no, nah, I don't got to do all that. Don't do this, fellas. I have a question. As a guy, how do you not get insecure? Just don't give a fuck. Because eventually, if you die, they're most likely going to be with somebody else. So therefore, you just shouldn't care. Well no, you're right. You just shouldn't care. Like, if, like I said... You know, before, once a woman knows that you can't live without her and, you know, you would just be so crushed if she ever left, she could treat you however she want because she know you ain't never going to leave. And that's why women respect dudes who just act like, I mean, yeah, you cool, but I don't care if you leave, I live. That's why women respect those guys the most. So don't ever get to a point where it's like, oh, you my heir, you my sun, you my moon, you my stars. I don't know what I would ever do without you. Don't ever get to that point as a man, ever, no matter what. I ain't saying you can't love her and care about her, but don't ever take it that far. What the? F Tell us your name and where you're from. I'm Mia and I'm Colombian. Cool, Colombia. And then tell us what you do for a living, but what your dream is. I'm a software engineer and my dream is to have a beautiful family and to teach them to see the beauty in every corner of the world. Oh, I love that. Thanks so much. Man, them engineers at her office. <laughs> they be on her. They be all over her. She know what she doing with that outfit. Come on. Come on, ladies. This, this isn't... If she really is a software engineer, this outfit isn't appropriate. Like, I don't even know if she's telling the truth. Like, if you... Maybe she's an independent... I guess she could be like an independent software engineer or work from home or something. And maybe she's just out in the bar. I don't know. That outfit is like a freakum dress. So she must not be on the way to handle no business in a freakum dress. That's my point, what I'm trying to say. If she is going to handle business, she shouldn't be expected to be viewed in a certain way in that outfit. I mean, we could debate about it in the comment section. But to me, if you want to be addressed in a business-like way, present yourself in a business-like way. You presenting yourself in a way that's like, mm, I might go home with you if the business deal go right. My bad rainer was there. Somebody was supposed to come and f*** me, but nobody came and f*** me. Everybody's rejecting me. Left, right, left, right. Am I ugly or am I annoying? 
Yeah, boys, this works. I mean, you're not really that ugly, but annoying, yes. I can just tell that from, what, 10 seconds? It ain't all about looks, ladies. If you're annoying, that could be a C blocker, too. Absolute wonders. If you ever want to see the absolute shock or horror in a woman's face, if she's attractive, try and reject her advances. It's probably the funniest reaction you're ever going to get because a lot of the times attractive women don't get rejected they kind of get what they want uh, if they approach a guy they usually tend to do fairly well but rejecting them is a whole new ball game because if anything they want you even more because they're like whoa this guy isn't he's not blown away by my beauty what is going on here and then the insecurity that's super saiyan level 10 when as a man you're not affected by a woman's beauty anymore it's like yeah you cute okay and like that's really leveling up as a man because it really requires women to step their personality game up, their, you know, nurturing skills up, their femininity up. It requires women to step it up. Yeah, you got a little fatty, and <laughs> like, They know they got to come harder. You can get them sucker dudes with just be having a pretty face and a fatty, but not me.